Good evening. <laughs> Need my bell. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to tonight's service. This is the third and the final of our Advent or pre-Christmas uh, services in which the children will be involved. Just a couple things before we begin. First of all, this Sunday, as we prepare for Christmas, we are asking that you wear your most festive Christmas outfits. Now, for some, that can be a sweater like this. I noticed a blue, where is that? <laughs> Suit over here, where? There he is. Go ahead, come on, Matt, St stand up. <laughs> Model, there you go. There, that's Christmas attire. <laughs> Christmas socks, ties, whatever you dresses, whatever you've got, just uh, to get us into the... Uh, the attitude of the season. And then, of course, all of our Christmas services, if you'll flash those up there. Christmas Eve, we are here at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock. It's a family-oriented service. We'll bring all the kids, grandma, grandpa. It'll be good for everybody. Uh, that will be at 2 and 4. We'll sing a, a lot of your favorite Christmas carols, have the message, of course. And then Christmas Eve evening, we have identical services at the historic church, 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 11 o'clock. They're all candlelight services. The only difference is there will be different uh, groups leading the music. One will be bells, one will be the organ, one will be our choir. So 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 11 o'clock. And those will be the last services in the historic church. So if you remember the candlelight services from years gone by, uh, the, the carols, and of course, uh, the opportunity to, to worship one last time in the grand old building. We welcome you to do that. So, having said that, let me encourage you to, to fill out the connection card this evening. Just fill out uh, your name and any other information that you want to share. Uh, we will be collecting these immediately. Usually we do it during the offering, which we still will do, but the offering will be right away during the service as our, as our talented youngsters here are going to, to lead us uh, in music. So fill these out, put them in the offering basket, and then any offering that you would like to contribute to the ministry of Emmanuel here this evening. We're going to do that right away. As soon as the students are, are finished with the instrumental, then we are going to go right into the service. All right, are you ready? Okay, here we go.
That day began just like any other day. I woke up early and was leisurely strolling through the field to take my turn watching the sheep. Okay, okay. I had intended to get up early, but as usual, things weren't going quite like I'd planned. I know, I know. It's hard to believe, but I wasn't always the polished and respected shepherd I am today. Oops. I'm, I'm just running a little late today. There sure are a lot of people traveling today. It's the census. We all have to be counted by the decree of Caesar Augustus. I'm Joanne, and this is my little sister, Simone. Want to stay and play with us? Sorry, I need to go watch my sheep. Nice to meet you. Gotta go. <coughs> what I didn't know was that that day had set into motion events that would change the course of my life and of history.
is Nathaniel. He's late again. His shift was supposed to start, well, when the sun was there, and now it's there. Don't be so hard on him, Abigail. You know he gets distracted. Besides, I like having a break, being out in the fields. I think it's peaceful out here. I hope he gets here soon. We have enough to do without waiting around for Nathaniel to assemble in. Oh, you know our lives would be boring without Nathaniel. There's enough to do helping mom at home. I can sit back, put my feet up, and... Those are my sisters and older brother. Everyone in the family helps out in the pasture. They're on the early morning shift. Oh, there you are, Nathaniel. How was your trip through town? Better than this latest trip over the sheep. Come on now. Did you see anything interesting? I heard people have been coming by the hundreds, more than I've ever seen. I tripped over some nice kids, Joanna and Simone. They are here for the census, but on to more important things, the sheep. How is Max's foot? Has Beatrice been getting enough exercise? I promised Jojo that I would help, help him stretch out his left hind foot. He injured it last week in our self-defense class. They're sheep, Nathaniel, seriously. You talk about them like they're your friends. I was friends with the sheep. Sheep. I had the greatest adventures of them. For me, it was all about those sheep. Ha, what? Abigail, don't be crazy. What kind of person would be friends with sheep? Have fun with your friends, Nate. We'll be back when the sun goes down. I had a peaceful, easy feeling with my sheep. I mean, I knew they couldn't actually talk. But when I looked in their eyes, it was like I could almost hear what they were thinking. Telling his story. He was just saying that she was so damn so transforming any pin in a slim. Shepherd and we like him a lot. He's a little goofy, but we gave him a shot. He's always looking out for us, totally we like, but we don't want to scare him because he seems so excitable. Hey Max, how's it going? What's on your mind? Bah. You can't wait to get a haircut? Great idea, buddy. Before I knew it, my shift was over, and I was running as fast as I could back through town, thinking about the awesome meal I was about to have. Whoa, running shepherd alert. You don't stand still fast, do you? Nathaniel, can we come on an adventure with you? I'm bored. Well, I'm just heading home for supper. We have some leftover food. Would you like some? We're staying right here at the inn. Well, we're actually lucky we got a room. The innkeeper told Papa it was, it's, the bu- it's the busiest that he's seen in years. Well, I guess I could eat with 
with you and then take you to see my sheep. Sheep, sheep, see the sheep. She just wants to avoid going to bed. <laughs> Simone eventually convinced me and as soon we were walking back to the fields under a deep dark blanket of night. You're gonna love my flock. Now Beatrice, she's the feisty one, but then there's Max. He's so cool, all the others follow his lead, and Jojo, he's just so funny. So I thought I would try it, you know? What harm could it be to try a new style? A straightener could add a few inches and really elongate my midriff. Beatrice, are you talking about that botched hairstyle you la tried last season? It looked like you got hit by lightning. It's called a crimping iron, boys. It was totally on fleece. On fleece? It's the latest lingo. I'm told it'll catch on soon. But anyways, crimple was in fashion in the fall. Ask anyone. And that crimper had five stars on shield. As for the wool treatment, I had that mud imported from the pasture at Lambton Abbey. If Cece hadn't left the mud in so long, I could have been the top fashionista on the field. You are seriously the dirtiest. It was bad. It was supposed to evaporate. The wool was supposed to. Oh my, stop playing games, Beatrice. They're sheeping me out. Sorry, I had my U plugs in. What's happening? What is that?
We could barely contain our shock and excitement in what the angels had told us. Had the Messiah really been born? And why would the angels choose to tell shepherds? As I've said before, I wasn't always the popular public figure I am today. And yet we could not ignore what we had saw and heard. Did it work? Are they gone? Yep, they're gone. Yes, the sheepinator worked. Seriously, that's your takeaway from this? Those were angels, Jojo. We could have just witnessed something extraordinary. We're going to go see this baby, right? I don't know. It sounds like a risky journey. After seeing that, I don't think we can stay here much longer. Plus, I bet our main man Nathaniel will want to go. Are your sheep okay? They haven't moved in a while. Hey, little buddies. Everything all right? Max, Cece, Jojo, Beatrice? Bah! They were just scared. Don't worry, guys. We're safe and sound. Bah! Did we really just see that? That was incredible. Amazing. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it for myself. Were those real angels, or am I having a seriously weird dream? Well, they were definitely angels, but what was even more unbelievable was their announcement that the Messiah was to be born as a baby. But we always thought that he would come with great power. Yes, everyone will know when the Messiah has arrived. Definitely. The prophets say that he will bring a new kingdom. But the angels said that the Messiah is a baby? Could that be true? What if he isn't supposed to lead a battle here on earth? Could it be all about that baby? <laughs>
up that baby, we gotta go see him. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's think this through. Do we really know what we saw? I know I was feeling pretty hungry. Maybe we imagined it. Maybe our minds were playing tricks on us. People will think we are nuts running into town talking about angels. But the angels said the, the angels entrusted the good news to us. Listen, Nathaniel, people already think you're nuts, but I still have a chance. <laughs> it's true, they call you boy who talks to sheep. Bah. Bah. I'm out. I gotta go eat something. I'll go with you. <laughs> Me too. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, I'm in. We have to go tell people about this baby. I'm in too. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened. I'm with boy who talks to sheep. We've got to see this baby. Right now, the shiny guy said king. If they say king, I cannot go see a king without at least a wool blow out. That should take maybe till dawn if I start right now. Cece, give me my creeper. <laughs> Again with the wool thing. Have you guys learned nothing? <laughs> well, I swear enough to know you do not go see a, a king without making it, without at least making a little preparation. <laughs> Look, something's happening with Nathaniel. Abigail's right. I'm already a laughing stuck in town. Plus, I have to take care of my fuck, and Beatrice hasn't been looking very well. Not looking very well? Well, that's the last I, time I'll defend you, buddy. And I'll just let you know I have not been getting my usual 10 hours of sleep. I'm getting 9. And you know what 9 hours of sleep does to a sheep's body? I'm working under impossible conditions here. <laughs> what is going on with your sheep? Okay, old girl. Bye. <laughs> For once, I was going to follow some good advice. I would stay in the fields to take care of my ailing sheep. I was always too impulsive, and I needed to be responsible. The baby could wait. What we didn't know was that far off in the east, wise men had seen a star and wondered what that could mean.
these humans have gone crazy. Some glowing angel beings appeared to all of us, so we are going to see what they were talking about. It's decided. We are going to find that baby. Yay! But if the angel thinks you should stay here, how can we convince him? We'll try to... Plan B. We could try the sheepinator again. I don't think so, Jojo. Let's try to communicate with Nathaniel first, but let me try. Nathaniel, I really think we should go see that baby. This could be one of the most extraordinary moments in history, and I don't want you to miss out on- Love you too, buddy. <laughs> Plan B then. Plan B. When I give the signal, take off running in the direction the angel said to go. But only if I give the signal, I shall find that baby. Oh, let's try to, to convince him all together this time. Be my guest. Ba, ba, no. Hello. Ba, 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 ba. And suddenly, the strangest sound came out of Max. Amazingly, it seemed that my favorite ship had known, or favorite sheep had known to do what I did not. They went to find the baby, Trevor's and so well, we fouled. Whoa, Max, Beatrice, I think we're here. Where the angels told us the baby king would be. The Messiah? Is this the baby? The king? No, Sire. To us, a, a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.
That night, the savior of the world was born in a stable, and we were the first ones to see him. Nearly two years later, the wise men would arrive after their long journey, but we never forgot the chance to be among the first ones to know about God's precious gift. So you see, it really was a night to remember, a night that changed the course of history. Hope was born into a world that desperately needed it. I wish Max could have understood that everything that happened, it changed everything. They all worked so hard for this. It was a lot of songs, right? A lot of songs and a lot of lines. Let's give them one more hand. You all did awesome. <laughs> all right. Did you all get the pictures that you wanted? Yeah? You're good? Okay. We are going to have them meet back where they were, like in the library for third and fourth, and the first and second graders will be in the first grade room, right? So we will have them go back in there so it's not such chaos, all right? Okay, thank you all. <laughs> 